Cartoon, your action figure aficionado here, bringing you a vintage variance report on the classic Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ground chuck action figure. And now that's not Playmates Classics. This is Vintage Classic, the original toy line. And what makes ground chuck so special here is I have them kind of set up is their hair pieces next to the silver horn. In the artwork, you can see it is painted green on both both cards. And the toy, however, does have a um, fairly well-known variation of the original painted silver hair top and then the green. Silver is much harder to get than the green, particularly mint on card. True value isn't uh, incredible on either of these figures, though, so... It would be fairly easy to hunt down and try to procure both of these for your displays or your collections that you may have. I believe, actually, it was the silver release that came first. These, um, I always say checking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles card back and the ones that they're commonly found on is an easy way to determine that. But on, in this case, the card backs are identical. The main difference uh, that I notice right away, and the only thing I can see is a Made in China sticker on there. And this one just says, uh, Product of China printed on the card back. Uh, nothing else there. But the card backs um, do have the same lineup of action figures. And, you know, ground chuck right on the end there. I believe Ground Chuck was released in the same wave as Dirtbag and Chrome Dome there. Both of these, uh, not having any variations I am currently familiar with, uh, Warrior Chrome Dome does not count as it was a new figure release. Well, while I have it here, let's just take a close look. Let's see, his accessories, Tranquilizing Dart Wrist Gun, the Electro Prod, and the turtle tethering crossbow. Just to get a good look at his bio there. And statistics. With that, I don't really notice any other big uh, uh, changes to ground chuck here. So it was very common for playmates to do these uh, cha running changes. Sometimes removing or adding uh, paint apps and stuff like that. Like I said, I think that's the silver in this case was the original, and then they figured to add the green hair in to just give it a little bit more spice and match the original artwork. Because even in all, actually all three pictures, you can see his green uh, crew cut poking through from the top there. Some people list this as a green brain or silver brain, but I am quite quite positive that it is in fact supposed to be a crew cut hair style. Here I'm uh, giving you a close-up of the silver hair. So you can really see there. And actually if you're trying to find these guys, sometimes it's harder to notice the silver hair in pictures. I'm trying to find one if you, um, you're looking to buy this one so sometimes you have to contact the sellers and ask them which hair color is next to the silver horn on these figures and just for your viewing pleasure there a close-up of the green hair all right folks there you have it my vintage variant report on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ground chuck action figure. I'm Spoon, your action figure aficionado, keeping it mint. <laughs>